So let me tell you what happened. So you guys remember that drum hack video that I did where I was showing you some tips and tricks on the drums that you could do like either in stage or the studio when you need something in a pinch. One of the hacks that I was showing you was um, how to get a fatter sound out of your snare drum with just a couple of sheets of paper, right? It's a trick that I've been doing for years and it will continue to work for years to come. Well, during that hack, I referenced to the big fat snare drum pad, the now world famous big fat snare drum pad that you've seen hundreds of drummers using. And I basically told you that it does virtually the same thing. Anyways, turns out that the big fat snare drum people saw that video and they've since reached out. Now it just so happens that one of the people at big fat snare drum, his name is Ben, shout out to Ben. Ben's a big fan of the channel. And um, he just sent me a really nice message to say, hey, we'd like to send you a couple of pads just so you can check out the quality of our pads um, for yourself, spend some time with them, play on them, and, um, and hopefully you'll see for yourself why these pads are priced the way they are. Now I just wanna say, man, before I go any further, I just wanna be transparent with y'all and be 100% honest, this is not a sponsored video. They're not paying me to say any of this. They're not paying me to review any of these pads. I just wanted to return the gesture, man, because it was really cool of Ben to reach out and offer um, you know, just the opportunity to check out some of their pads. So let me show you which ones I got, and then uh, I'll hit them for you a couple of times so you can hear them. Um, they sent me five pads. One of them is the original pad that you've seen everyone playing. It's a 13 inch. That one's at the church. I use that one there pretty regularly now. Um, so I got four left here. So this one is called Steve's Donut. And this one I think is pretty much like the original pad, but it's got a hole obviously cut out in the center. And um, this is probably the one that most resembles the original pad, but this comes in all kinds of different sizes. So I think it comes from, I think it comes between 10 and 18 inches. So you can use these on your toms if you want. And, um, and the idea behind these is to sort of give you the same kind of fatness while still having the feel of your original drum head. So yeah, this one is Steve's Donut. This next one is actually pretty cool. This one's for the drummer that likes to look at himself while he's playing. This is a big shiny disc um, and it's aptly called The Shining. And um, from what I've read, this one is just like the original. It's based off the original one, but it's thinner. So this one is when you wanna add a little bit of fatness, but not as much as the original pad. Now this next one is funky, man. This one is called Medford Square. This one is pretty thick. I don't know how thick this actual sheet of mylar is, but this is two layers. There's a the clear mylar, and then it's got this 
top layer, but it's got a seven inch square cut out of it. This one is like super fat. I ended up digging this one a lot. This, this might be my favorite out of, the, uh, out of the four that I have here. But yeah, man, it's just, um, it's built like a tank. And uh, like I said, it's just super fat. And then this last one, this last one is a beast. This one's called the Green Monster. And this is, um, this is easily the thickest one of the lot. Like this is crazy thick. This is probably only going to sound good under the mic because on its own, the thing is just so thick that you actually lose a little bit of volume. But under a mic situation, your snare is going to sound like it's 17 inches deep. The other cool thing about this one is that it's coated. So you can actually use brushes on this one if you want. Um, I don't know why you actually would, especially given what I just told you about losing that volume. But man, in a, in a recording situation, this thing will add 10 inches to your snare drum. So having messed around with all these pads, man, I can tell you honestly that they're pretty cool. Can't lie, man. Like I'm pretty impressed with the, um, with the quality. Like you got to hold one in your hands to see for yourself. But, you know, you get the impression that these will last you quite a while as long as you take care of them. And the thing that I was surprised by, to be completely honest, was the... Um, the difference in sound between these pads. Um, in a minute, I'm gonna play all of these back to back so you can hear them one right after the other. But I was pretty impressed with, um, with the, just the, the variety and the depth of fatness that you can get between these pads. You can easily get four very distinctly different sounds out of your one snare drum with these pads. So let me just give you a quick sort of back to back comparison. I'll play each one for a handful of bars at a time just so you can hear the difference going from one to the next. So there you go, man. So drop a comment below in the comment section. Let me know which one of these pads were, uh, were your favorite. Go check out the websites, bigfatsnaredrum.com. I was surprised at just how many different pads that they offered. But yeah, man, let me know what you think. Whether you like them or not, doesn't change the fact that these pads are hugely popular now. Hundreds of drummers are using these on a regular basis. And I can kind of see why. I mean, they're actually pretty cool. So are they worth the dough? I mean, it just depends, man. Like if you're a super busy chameleon type of drummer, you're playing with a whole bunch of different artists, 
you want a variety of different snare drums in one bag, then I'd say, yeah, like 20 bucks for each of these pads, considering the performance, the build quality, the longevity that you're going to get out of them. They're pretty cool tools to have in your bag. Is it still possible to make your own basic version out of an old drum head? Of course it is. People have been doing that for years. But like I said, it doesn't change the fact that a lot of drummers are snatching these things up. And um, now that I have them, I'm probably going to use them a lot. So there you go, man. Once again, shout out to Ben over at Big Fat Snare Drum, man. Very kind gesture for him to send me these pads to check out. Give him a shot. Try some for yourself. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I do reviews like this. I review other things, but it's mostly about lessons here. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you next video.